Good day. We're now on to the section called hydrolysis. It's a very important section on its own, and it's also important when we do things called titrations, acid-base titrations, later on. We know if we have an acid, it's going to hydrolyze an acid. If we have a base, it's going to hydrolyze the base. But if we have a salt, these things can actually hydrolyze as well, and they may hydrolyze to make things acidic, basic, or actually neutral. Hydrolysis itself means the splitting of water. So for chemistry, it really means a reaction with water. And this means we're either pulling a proton, an H plus, from water, or we're putting an H plus on the water. We have to have some rules for how we deal with salts and seeing if they will hydrolyze. And what we do if it's an ionic compound, we have to look at the positive ion and we have to look at the negative ion. So conjugate bases of strong acids do not hydrolyze. And our example here says Cl minus. So what we see is here we have the acids and here are the conjugate bases. Cl minus, uh-oh, the arrows point at it. There is no equilibrium here. Cannot drive the equilibrium to the left. Uh, brome, bromide can't do it. Iodide can't do it. Chloride. So those six bases there will not hydrolyze. If you run into a negative ion that's here, it will hydrolyze to a certain extent. So that's what that's saying. So conjugate bases, strong acids, don't hydrolyze. Wonderful. That's the K table we use it for. Group 1, alkali metals. Group 2, alkaline earth metals, do not hydrolyze. And you can see I don't know how to spell hydrolyze, so we're going to fix that right now. Other ions, sadly, we have to consider for hydrolysis. Well, we have a flow chart here. You take your salt and you split it into a cation and anion. Cation, if it's group 1 or group 2, then you say, yes, does not hydrolyze. That means it would leave things being neutral. If it's not group 1 or 2, then we have to see how it would hydrolyze, and that comes with experience. Now we look at the negative ion, the anion. If it's a strong acid on the Ka table, then it does not hydrolyze. But it's from a weak acid, then it will hydrolyze. And then we have wonderful things called amphiprotics. And we have to decide, are they going to hydrolyze as an acid or a base? So there's lots to think about. Now, metals. Certain small metals that are highly charged can hydrolyze. And we'll be showing you that in the diagram. On your Ka table, Three are listed that hydrolyze. There are other ones that do it as well. So let's just see if we can find some of them on this chart. So we're looking, oh, there's iron. And what happens is the iron, iron 3 plus, sucks in water into its structure. So that's where the hydrogen comes. So we can make the H3O plus. And aluminum can do that as well. And there should be one other beast that I've missed. And there it is, the chromium. And like I say, there are other ones. But if, if I gave you a question with another one, I'd have to give you a Ka value. So those types of metals will hydrolyze as acids. Here's a sample reaction. The iron has sucked six waters into its crystal structure. It reacts with water. And what happens is one of these water molecules donates a proton to the H2O to make it H2O+. So we used to have six waters, but now we're down to five waters. And the 6 water has become an OH, and our 3 plus becomes a 2 plus because a proton has moved to the water. So this is a balanced equation. So get used to that. Now we're going to see if you understand what we're doing. Ah, come on. Let's try again. See if this does better. There we go. So we have K plus. K plus is group 1. Does not hydrolyze. Br minus is from HBr, a strong acid, so it can't hydrolyze. So overall, it ends up being neutral. Now, NH4, one plus, hydrolyzes as an acid. So let's look and find ammonium somewhere along here. Where are you, ammonium? Do, 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 do. Right here. So we see ammonium as a cation hydrolyzes as a weak acid. Then we look up chloride, and we know chloride doesn't hydrolyze. Ah, Jiminy. 
So the chloride doesn't hydrolyze, ammonium hydrolyzes as an acid, so ammonium chloride will hydrolyze as an acid overall. Aluminum nitrate. Well, we just showed you that aluminum hydrolyzes as an acid. It was here on the chart right here. Hydrolyzes a weak acid. And nitrate is from, gee, come on. Nitrate is from HNO3, a strong acid. And so this nitrate does not hydrolyze. So this will be acidic. Try to do this in a tidy fashion. Sodium, sodium is group one, does not hydrolyze. This is the sulfite ion. It is from a weak acid, HSO3. So it hydrolyzes as a base. So overall, sodium sulfite hydrolyzes to make a basic solution. And our last example, Mg2+. It's group two, does not hydrolyze. Then we have the bisulfate ion. It's amphiprotic. So first of all, we want to see, can it hydrolyze as a base? And it can't because it's from H2SO4. It cannot drive that e reaction to the left. But HSO4 minus is here as an acid as well. That's why we call it amphiprotic. And so it can hydrolyze an acid, not as a base. So overall, if this thing would behave, it hydrolyzes to make an acidic solution. The fun continues. Oxides. When we have metal oxides, so we're talking about group one and group two, they create basic solutions. You might have heard of alkaline batteries and things like that. So oxide just means it has oxygen in it. So if we have sodium oxide like this and we add water to it, it makes two sodium hydroxides that then behave as a base. Magnesium oxide plus water makes magnesium hydroxide. And again, that's freeing up hydroxide. So that's where the basic characteristic comes from. Non-metals, what they do is they'll get together with water and they will make acids. So on the left side of the periodic table, oxides tend to be basic. On the right side of the periodic table, oxides tend to be acidic. And these can be associated with acid rain. In the middle, we'll run into things, some transition metals that may be acidic or basic. And we have to do a little bit more thinking. So that's why it says amphiprotic in the middle. Now, let's see what is left to take care of. That must be about it. So we'll shut it down there.